Let's continue. So during the break, everybody got checked. How many people feel your body is tensed up? Well, something is going on. If you know that, then you know you have tension. And that's number one cause for your lower back pain. Then the question asked me, Dr. What should I do? Or Dr. What can we do? I always talk to my clients, what you should do first. If you don't do the right thing you should do, you cannot come to see me for a better outcome. So during break, I had a client's come, audience come up, told me already, I did this, I did that, but nothing helped. There's one thing, you have to do the thing you should do. What's the first thing you have to do if you want recovery? For any health problem, include lower back pain. Or any kind of pain. Rest. Why? Rest is a recovery. Just like a car is broke. Come on, stop first. Let's fix it. You cannot say my car needs to continue to run and I want to fix it. Does it make sense? So in my clinic, when patient talk to me, doctor, when can my lower back pain getting better so I can go back to work? That makes me very frustrated. Does that make sense? They try it against themselves. So what you do, you need to increase your sleep, have more rest, you need to reduce your work and your stress level. If you're not able to do that, then you will know it's very hard to recover for any health issue. Make sense to you? Okay. According to research, why people have pain is because pain and spasm is a one cycle. When your body pain, your body try to tell you stop. Your body is saying, I cannot take anymore. Stop. Stop for what? For rest and recovery. Make sense to you? Pain is a sign to tell you, stop. So after your rest, you say, what can I do next? I still have pain. If it's come from use computer, hunch back, your posture, number one thing you should do is a stretching. Any pain is a spasm, right? If the muscle cramped, can you stretch and release it? That's something you can do, right? So it doesn't matter, you come to our health class, learn stretching, or you go find a yoga class. You say, I don't want to stretch, but I still want to get the same thing done. Find somebody to massage, break through the tension. Regardless of what's happened, you have to release the tension. And for a lot of people, it doesn't matter middle age or senior, if you finally have a chronic issue and your muscles are very tense and your posture change and you become stiff, like what we did, you tested your range of motion, certain parts in trouble, you know your body is in trouble. At that time, a simple way to do is a stretching bench. This doctor in Hong Kong developed it called stretching bench. Very simple, easy way to do. You can get a stretching bench online, you can get it from our clinic, or you can rent it, one dollar a day. But basically, I have to stretch something. And for anybody who has lower back pain, I highly recommend you try this one. If you're able to stretch like this, you do not need it. If it's very hard for you to stretch like this, you definitely need it. And you should stretch every day. You don't need a lot of time, five to 10 minutes, after you finish work, go home, put your leg up, stretch. This one become very, very popular in China, especially for senior. Basically, you know you need to stretch, right? If you're not able to go to a yoga class, or you don't know what to do, at least find a bench, lay down there five minutes every day. You want to know more? Come learn from us about sleep, diet, exercise. And we teach in our clinic. That's one very unique thing we offer in our clinic. What happened this? It's very hard in the clinic why I'm treating a lower back pain. You ask me, doctor, what should I eat? How should I sleep? Every, top, every topic takes more than one hour to explain. So like right now in the brain, many people ask me, what should I eat? Should I drink coffee? Is ice water okay? Why this one? Why nutrition? We answer everything in the health class. So each class will be one hour discussion, sleep, diet, exercise, and stress. Will be one hour hands-on stretching. 
I'm going to stretch with you. And I'm going to teach you Tai Chi, very simple format, slow walking. One minute, one step. You need to experience your own body. Oh, doctor, well, this one not right. Oh, this one feels good. Do the right thing for yourself. Try to find out what's wrong with you, fix it. Then you can keep health. The funny thing is many people even don't know how it's going with their health. When they do stretching, wow, hurts so much. Why? If you never know it, how can you fix it? Does it make sense to you? So I challenge you, come to the class, find out what's going on with your real body. Nothing to do with your age. It's everything to do with how you take care of your health. Make sense? If you don't know that in reality, you're not able to do anything. So that's one thing, October 25th, you're welcome to join us. And in the class, we're going to teach you what's the exercise you should do, how you should sleep, how you make your body recovery. Doesn't matter through acupuncture or moxibation, it's a healing therapy, the moxa, M-O-X-A. And when you eat, what to eat, when to eat, how to eat it. For example, how many people eat a big dinner? Dinner is the biggest meal for yourself. Not a lot. And for Indian clients, big dinner is one big reason for high percentage diabetic. You know a lot of Indian people are vegetarian, right? But their weight and the diabetic is a huge health problem. What time to eat might be a reason. And of course, stress management. Everybody live in Bay Area know what I'm talking about, right? Stress, number one reason cause health. Actually, in the whole United States, you talk to anybody, stress probably is a big contribution for health. After you do what you can do, come to see us. Acupuncture definitely can help lower back pain. And in our clinic, we'll provide chiropractor, quick fix, we'll have twin knot therapeutic massage, loosen up your muscle, we do acupuncture herbs and moxa, the heating therapy, to keep your body metabolism and the recovery ability goes up. <coughs> then your body able to keep pain free. And it will teach you therapeutic stretching exercise. So even if you stop to seeing us, you still know you still know how to examine what's going on with your body, how to keep yourself. Make sense? That's one thing we're very proud of. We tell you what happened, we help you fix it, we teach you how to keep it. That's the whole thing. And in 1978, World Health Organization recommended lower back pain and a sciatic can be treated by acupuncture. Keep in mind, it's 1978. Almost 40 years ago. And then you want to know how acupuncture works? Based on research, it strengthens the immune system. That's really can help, like allergies, rheumatoid arthritis. Everybody knows immune system, immune system disease is a huge problem for MDs, right? For Western medicine, there's no conclusion. No way to treat it with immune system problem. Acupuncture can help because it strengthens the immune system, release T cells, and it releases endorphins. How many people know endorphins? Endorphins is the happy hormone in your brain. That's really the help with stress. A lot of patients during the acupuncture section is fall asleep. So relaxed. That's one thing you definitely want it. And it also increased circulation. That's the reason why acupuncture or moxibation, the healing therapy, can help your metabolism. Once you have better circulation, you have better health. Make sense to you? When you have no circulation or poor circulation, you'll be in trouble. Next one, it helps tightness, stiffness, and spasms. Of course, it helps pain. If you can release the spasm, the pain will get released. And if you want no more acupuncture, doesn't matter how they do it. Needles, cups, marks at the heating therapy, the many, many type treatment can apply to you. But only there's two group. Number one called external therapy. Yeah, in other words, nothing comes to your body. Doesn't matter, we do massage, we adjust your bone, we do acupuncture, nothing goes into your body. That one is external stimulation or internal stimulation. 
will give you herbs, diet therapy, make a, some change internal. Regardless of what happened, acupuncture is a stimulation to speed up your circulation. And now we'll come back to lower back pain. Is it Dr. Wu? We talk about all this treatment. What or what kind of treatment can help with lower back pain? The lower back pain we're talking about today actually is a chronic lower back pain. You have an accident or you carry something heavy, you twist your lower back. Most time, one adjustment or one or two acupuncture treatment can help you. But if your lower back pain has a couple of times that lasts like two years, six months, whatever, you know it's not the muscle or bone has issue. There is some internal issue. And in Chinese medicine, have the three types, very basic one. Number one called liver. In Chinese medicine, the liver means stress related. Basically, show up, your stress level is high, your muscle tension is high. So when you do therapeutic massage, you're stretching, you can feel the body is so tight, tense. Second one called kidney type. Kidney in Chinese medicine means the hormone, aging, regeneration. The sign is your body exhausted. We're going to discuss more. The last one will be called spleen type. The metabolism goes down. Doesn't matter if you gain some weight or you have some digestion issue or diabetic, high cholesterol, whatever. Number one, we'll talk about the liver type. You know for the lower back, there's big two muscles along your spine, right? In Chinese medicine, believe what we found for your body, when you're stressed out, your muscle tied up. So if you belong to the liver type, what we call the stress type, your muscle is very tight and stiff. That time, you not only have lower back pain, probably have neck issue, tension headache, migraine, sciatic pain, a group people, a group problems relate to stress or tension. You cannot say only my lower back is very tight, ten step, nothing else. You always have something come with it. Make sense? So muscle stiffness, def definitely is one thing. Second thing is the range of motion limit. ROM is a range of motion. Basically when you do something because your muscle is so tight, it's a limit. I just don't feel free. And you feel multiple pain spot along the spine. And when you do stretch or massage, you can feel help. And for a lot of people, because the muscle is stiff, their posture is not right. Doesn't matter when we talk about a chicken position or turtle position. The posture is in trouble. If you are in this type, your massage, therapeutic massage, fix your posture will be number one thing to do. If your posture is not coming back, your pain will come back again. Make sense? Second type is called kidney type. In Chinese medicine, the kidney, not only this kidney, the kidney means the whole system, indicate about aging. When people get old, maybe it's the kidney getting weak. Or the hormone, like a female have menopause, we believe the kidney getting weak. Or your immune system goes down, autoimmune system problem. Or the sex drive goes down, or reproductive system. Like for infertility, we believe it's kidney related. Or we have a bone issue, osteoporosis. Or when people get up in the night, they pee a lot. Three times, five times. Then you know the urine, the kidney system get in trouble. So in Chinese medicine, put this way, we talk about kidney, liver, spleen. The word, the term is the same as Western medicine. But it was used 5,000 years ago. We use that word as a symbolic to describe a whole system in your body. Your whole body only have five systems. Heart, lung, liver, kidney, and spleen. Anything in your body's health belongs to one of the system. And if your kidney system has trouble, so I have lower back pain, Dr. Kidney type, how to find out? Number one, you have chronic fatigue. Not only have lower back pain, I'm tired all the time. Number two, most time your lower back pain is aching. I just feel like, you know, no good. Not a severe pain, but aching all the time. And your muscle is pretty weak. And getting worse after work. Because I'm weak, so I have to work or standing or 
work out, I just feel my back hurts more. Or for a woman, when during period, or for a man or woman after sex, the lower back get aching. And very interesting, rest can help. My back hurts more after work. When I sleep overnight, next morning I feel better. But next day when I sit eight hours, my back hurts again. Make sense to you? And a lot of people, because when you're weak, your circulation goes down. They might have a cold or weak leg. Cold leg is means the temperature. I just feel my feet cold all the time. Weak leg, like when you go upstairs, three, five floors, just feel so tired. My leg just kind of not mine, it's so heavy. You said cold leg, is that the... Cold feet or cold leg. Feet, okay, feet also. Uh, some people's legs, some people's feet. But when you talk to them, they will know. That's talking about me. Some people's winter time getting cold. Some people even summertime, my feet always cold. Make sense? Okay, next one, spleen type. What happened this? In the Western medicine, we call it trunk muscle. When your low back has a problem, you also have a problem with the muscle in front of your belly. The muscle together hold your low back together. And the spleen is the one the muscle goes to the front. The spleen channel, acupuncture channel. Basically means your whole body metabolism goes down. Your muscle getting weak. And for most people, they either have a digestion problem or their appetite is no good. In Chinese medicine, we believe the body has moisture or dampness. What that mean? It means your body gain weight. You see the body is a little flappy. Make sense? And Chinese has one word called weak. Fat, xu pang, weak, overweight. We don't believe you're strong, you're healthy. We believe you become weak, so you gain weight. Make sense? And then we, we will say, how can I know I have the spleen type, lower back pain? Very easy. Number one, people gain weight. If you ask them, did you gain weight last couple of years, especially on belly? Yes, and they have lower back pain. Number two, their metabolism goes down. So they might have a diabetic, gout, high cholesterol, or they will tell you my cholesterol level getting bottom line. My di diabetic and blood sugar level get to bottom line. That means your metabolism goes down. And when people go to the bathroom, either they have loose stool, constipation, or they feel thirsty all the time. Or when they drink water, they do not feel it help them. They still feel thirsty after they drink. And most people believe I drink a lot of water, can detox and help my health. No. For this type of people, no. Another sign they also feel heavy in their body. Make sense? And it might be weather related. What does that mean? Next day is raining, or the weather getting cold. Chinese medicine believe your body has moisture or dampness. Your body reacts. Some people have arthritis. So I feel pain, I feel more heavy. When I get up, I feel lousy. You belong to the spleen type. And if you say, I don't know, I have no sign, you can touch your belly. Literally, you touch around your navel, you can feel the body temperature is cold. And some patients, especially women, ice cold. You can touch their ribs, the butt, their hip, whatever, the body temperature is okay. By touching the navel or around, above or below the navel, you can literally feel it's cold. That means your circulation, your belly is not good. Your metabolism is going down. Make sense to you? Then you belong to a spleen type. I'm going to tell everybody a tip for health. Apply to lower back pain, apply to anything. Every day when you wake up like now, you know where your blood goes? By the way, women only have 5 liters blood. Men only have 4.5 liters blood. Women has period, so women has a little bit more blood. Right now, we're alert where the blood goes. No idea? Heart. Number one, your heart needs blood, right? Non-stop pumping. 20-25% blood goes there. What's next? Your brain. It's billions of brain cells need a blood function. You close your eyes, you shut down 50% intake of information. Your ears, your eyes, 
your nose, your mouth, everything will be working. You need a lot of blood to keep your function. And what happens when you sleep? Where the blood goes? Slow down. Your heart slow down, right? Mm -hmm. The heart rate goes down, so you need less blood in your heart. How about your brain? Slow down. You don't shut down, but at least you decrease the blood circulation, right? And what happened that time? Where the blood goes? It go to your belly, your stomach. That's the time your recovery, your metabolism start work. For baby and the kids, they grow. That's the time they grow. That's when the younger the baby, the kid, the more they sleep, the more fast they grow, right? Make sense to you? And for you, the same thing. When you don't sleep, you don't let your metabolism, your recovery, do the job to fix your health issue. And you say, I only can sleep six hours. Or I have a sleep problem. Or now my body is, my health is in trouble. Doctor, do you have any way to increase my circulation for my belly? Increase my metabolism? Yes, fortunately. Chinese medicine found if you can increase your belly's health, the circulation, your health go up. Basically, if your belly has better circulation, you have better metabolism, you have better recovery. That's where it doesn't matter you do yoga, breathing technique, box basin, the healing therapy, you play Tai Chi, we do acupuncture. Everything is trying to increase your belly circulation and improve your metabolism. Make sense to you? So, how do we do it? That's how we do it. The herbs called moxibition is one kind of herbs, the leaves. And Chinese medicine found that one has a very strong penetrating ability through the heat. So when burn or put in a pot, that's the place we put. CV8 is the number for the acupuncture point. Actually, it's the navel, the belly button. CV4 is the three inches below the navel. So that's the two, pot, two points we put there. Now what we do, we put this one on top of the acupuncture point. The heat will penetrate, goes down to your body. Speed out the circulation. When things is hot, your body's circulation speed up. Does that make sense? When your body is cold, circulation slow down. Make sense to you? And when you do mock vision, you know, how do you know it works? Number one, it's pretty easy for most people. Three to five times you will see that sign. Either you're guessing a lot, or you go pee a lot, or sometimes people in bowel movement is much more, much more among them regular, were able to stir up, make you intestine move faster. Make sense? That would be the first sign. Second one is when you do the moxibition, the healing therapy on your belly, your lower back gets sweat. Basically, it will barbecue through your body. Just like barbecue, you need barbecue through, right? We heat on top, we're able to penetrate the heat through your whole body, your intestine, be completed, speed it up, the circulation. Ideally, you do the mox at the heating therapy, on the belly, your leg or your feet get sweat. The whole body circulation speed it up, not only local wise. Make sense to you? So, Whatever health problem include lower back pain. Actually, there's one way to say it. Your problem is not your problem. Your problem is you. It's a little complicated. What I try to say is this. Your health problem, for example, lower back pain, is not your problem. The problem is your lifestyle. You work 12 hours, sleep 6 hours, you work 50% more, you sleep 25% less. Your stress level is very high, your diet is wrong, you don't do the right exercise. Does that make sense? So a lot of times I talk to my patient is, your problem when you talk to me in the lower back pain is not your problem. It's you. How you use your body, how you sleep, how you exercise, how you eat. Does that make sense? And your health problem or your problem also is you because what's the action you're taking? I know I have lower back pain. I know I didn't sleep enough. I know my work volume or stress levels are high. What's the next action you're going to take? Make sense? 
that decide outcome. So a lot of time the problem is you. What you're gonna do? Before today, you don't know what's going on, right? After today, your health problem is what you do, who you are, how you think about your body. Make sense? For my purpose, it has an, as many people as possible. So if you listen to today's seminar, if you know somebody is in need for help, feel free to tell them. Second thing, for everybody come here and spend so much time to learn Chinese medicine, we're going to give you a special offer to help your health. So for everything, everybody should have a sheet. Doesn't matter if you want to have lower back pain or anything else, anything related to pain, you can apply today. Two chiropractor, one acupuncture, one time therapeutic massage, and a free consultation and acupuncture, we can let you know if your health can be helped. If you do the right thing, what you should do, plus what we can help you, you will know there is something you can be in control for your health again. That's the thing. So that's today's seminar. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, we'll stop here. Just so long.